Today we are going to learn the L finger. The L finger is your fourth finger right next to your pinky. When you are typing with this finger, this finger doesn't like to move by itself. It likes to take friends. It likes to take your middle finger upstairs with it. Be really careful about that. We don't want to type I when we're typing O. Keep your third finger on K as you move your O finger up. It's okay if your pinky moves, it really can't do much damage, but please make sure J and K are on the keyboard. So we're gonna start with the L, ready? Type L, L, space. One more time, L, L, space. Now let's move upstairs to the O. You're going to go diagonally. If you go straight up, you're gonna hit that little valley between O and P. Let's type diagonally to the left, ready? L, O, come back home to L, space. L O L space L O L space let's do the O by itself O O space O O space good now we also have the period underneath the letter L this is your most important punctuation mark when you're typing the period make sure that you come backwards as you can see my finger has to come diagonally backwards not straight down I will hit the comma if I do that we don't want the comma lock J and K ready come backwards L period and return home again L period and return home L period one space after a period L period one space good let's do all three together starting at the period period L O and come back okay now that you've learned the L finger we need to use the shift key and capitalize letter O. So we're going to be using the left shift, remember, because my right hand is typing the letter. So shift left, hold it down, move up to O, and both fingers come back to the home again. Shift left, move up to O, and come home. One more time. Shift left, type the O, and come back home. Now, we're not going to learn the carrot mark, but if you shift the period, that's what you will get. Typing Pal may give you this key. If you see it, you will need to move your finger down and shift. 